Blog Talk Radio. How pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. This is the 90 Degree Show brought to you by the Marching Podcast and Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Joe Beard, and happy to be of service for you today. Today is October 21st, 2012, uh, 3 o'clock on the West Coast, 6 o'clock on the East Coast, and we are talking week 8. We are analyzing the tape and hope that people will call in and talk about their own experiences over the weekend to get a solid conclusion about the particular battle. Our feature battle uh, this week is Winston-Salem State versus Livingstone, uh, representing the CIAA Conference. We welcome back Chris Jones and Troy Milton, and we would like to hear from you as well. So please call into the show at uh 718-664-6025 718-664-6025 That's 718-664-6025 You can email the show at marchingpodcast at gmail.com or tweet us at marchingpodcast You can go to the website www.themarchingpodcast.com and vote on who you think gave the better overall performance in our feature battle I will post the results in our blog The Marching Blogcast at blog blog4.themarchingpodcast.com and you can get on our uh you can also get to the blog from our website. You'll see our blog for the show on the front page to the left side of the video of the week. What's going on, Troy and Chris Jones? What's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. What's you Chris up, Jones, bro? you there? What's up, man? What's up, man? Uh, I'm what's doing all right, on, man. Hey, Nick Troy, what's up, baby? Love the boo. What's up, baby? How you doing? Man, I'm blessed, man. Clunk like a skunk, like always. All right. That's cool, All right. man. Let me read the results uh, from the voting from last week. Our feature battle last week was Miles and Kentucky State, and we closed the voting right before the beginning of this show to crown the winner. And the winner, according to the poll, is Miles College. It's looked like oh, wow. all the folks. <laughs> All the folks called yeah. in. It wasn't really a big surprise. That's what we kind of thought, figured that was happening. But uh, always go to the website, www.themarchingpodcast.com, and vote on the featured matchup of each week. Uh, this is week eight. Uh, so let me read off a couple of the, uh, the the matchups from the week. North Carolina Central, Hampton, Tuskegee, Tuskegee, Kentucky State, Howard at Morgan State, Shaw versus Smith. Uh, Virginia Union and Bowie State, Delaware State and A&T, Elizabeth City and Chowan, uh, Virginia State and Lincoln, Winston-Salem State and Livingstone, like we know, Lane and Miles, Prairie View and Alcorn. Uh, Texas College, uh, just people were talking about that. We kind of had a little buzz about Texas College. And I'm trying Bacone, to tell you, baby, Texas College. Uh, uh, Alabama State and Clark, Benedict Morehouse, According, and according to some others, you go ahead and check out the, the picks of the week of the HBCU Digest. Pick them. You can go to hbcudigest.com and uh, look for Black College Football Picks Week 8. Uh, so, uh, Troy, what uh, what games did you check out this week? I got a chance to see uh, a couple of clips from the who was the feature of the week, Livingstone and Winston-Salem. And actually, I couldn't – I really didn't find too many clips of Livingstone. I've seen a bunch of Winston-Salem. Um, right. I, I wasn't all that impressed. <laughs> they sound a little bit better than they look, but neither was I, – I, I wasn't that impressed. Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, man. That's Magruder, man. That's Magruder. I know. That's why I was let down. That's why I was oh, let man, down. Hey, 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 hey. You can't talk about Magruder now. I, I, now I got to go against you on that one. Um, now, now Winston-Salem has come with a good sound. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, they come with a great sound this year. And, Troy, I, I got to go against you on that one. 
But I do have to say about Livingstone, Livingstone has impressed me this year thus so yeah. thus far. Now, Livingstone does have a great sound, and they do have some good drum majors too. We got to look at the, the, where they came from, man. We got to look at where they came from. They have come a long way. And I'm trying to say a long way. Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah. yeah, man, I'm here. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought I thought you got cut off. Uh, we I actually got, got somebody from the four. We got somebody from the four four area code. Uh, go ahead and um, let me see if I can get him in. Okay, go ahead and uh, give us your name and where you calling from today. Okay, yeah, someone from the, whoever the four four was, they dropped uh, dropped a call. Um, but like but yeah, I uh, Livingstone. I was leave, just read a little. Quick little something about Livingstone, established in 1879. It's a private black college. Um, it's a, re- a religious affiliation with the African Methodist Church. Uh, nice. They have about 12, 1,200 students in Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, and they say their campus is about 271 acres. Uh, so it's a small school. Uh, I'm going to pull up some information about Winston-Salem State. So so what do you think, uh, Chris Jones, what do you think about uh, this actual battle? Did you get to get a chance to see yeah, it? I, 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 saw, I, saw, I, saw some, I saw some clips of it, and I liked it. I was enjoying the sound. I was I was actually enjoying the battle. It sort of had a, a, a swackish sort of flavor to it. But, you know, you're talking about history. Let's talk about history. You know, did you know that Livingstone is basically – uh, one of the bands that one of the schools that was supported by the AME Church and the AME Church uh, discontinued what they were doing with Livingstone, which made the band program go down because of money. Now we're gonna analyze the whole situation. I remember when Livingstone used to have 20 people in their band. Now they have over 130. Now that's something telling you. That's telling you one thing right there. Money is coming into the program, and that money is coming into the program. You're getting better players. You're getting better. Marching, you're getting better shows, you're getting a better band. And if those presidents yeah. are listening to us right now, any HBCU president, if you're listening to us right now, your best marketing tool for your school is your band. Uh, Winston, Winston Salem State was established in 1892. It's a public institution. Uh, they're uh, running on an actual $19.6 million endowment, and they have about 6,000 students out of Winston Salem, North Carolina, and they compete in uh Division 2 the in the Division 2 realm of the NCAA. Uh so it's just a little background about the two of them. Um we gave we've been giving Livingstone props for the last couple of weeks and how they match up uh against a good program. Uh we know Dr. Magruder. Um he was uh, very good at motivating us and writing good songs when we were in the band or when I was there at Jackson State. Um, uh, he was, I mean, he just, I know for sure that, you know, he's trying to push their full effort. Um, so that's something we can definitely yeah. vouch for. Uh, 718-664-6025, you're on the 90 Degree Show, uh, with the Marching Podcast, Blog Talk Radio, thanks for listening. Um, l- let me give y'all a quick little something. I wrote a little something. I saw something on Livingstone. Um, they have precision and they have a good sound. <laughs> And and something that's cranking, you know, we always talk about what's cranking and stanking. They they were cranking. She works hard for the money by Donna mm-hmm. Summer. Um, yeah. They play that pretty good, and the drum part is pretty tight. And then I saw them playing in the stands. Uh, this ain't what you want. And Hollywood. Uh, I saw yeah, the I two saw. I seen the Hollywood clip. Yeah, and the tubas are cranking. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. They doing all right. The middle brass is good, and the F horns are pretty straight. Like they providing some good support. Uh, as, Trump, as Troy and I know, the trumpet section, you know, we a little bit critical about that, but they don't really jump out in front of the band. You know what I'm saying? Right. You hear you hear some people trying to scream a little bit, uh, but you know it, it's nothing really special. I call that the Detroit info. It's, it's actually a lot of people from Detroit in that band. That that program has been recruiting heavily in Detroit for the last, like, two or three years. Uh, one of their drum majors is from Detroit. He, one of their drum majors is one of Melvin's old students. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they, they've been recruiting heavily in Detroit for a couple of years. So, you know, they're definitely, I think, 
in the HBCU world, I think they're the up-and-coming band. I think in the next five years, they're going to be that. They're going to be up there. Yeah, that they're going to be scary. I mean, definitely. And who knows, like what they could be like next year? You know, just well, after just. Well, I'll, I'll say it like this: They are good. They do have great drum majors that are that are that are getting down, but they do not have an identity. They do not have an identity. I'm sorry. I haven't seen a Livingstone band. That's not Livingstone. Those are Jackson State style drum majors. That's a dad well, room no. swag drum major. I mean swag band um, drill. They yeah, do have an down. identity. You can call it what you down. want to. Call Kool Aid Kool Aid. That's red. Listen, That's what it is. Red listen. is not punch. Listen, listen to this, Chris Jones. I got into this argument with a young man. That's a drum major. I said, look, I said, I'm going to knock, and I'm not gonna knock you. But why are y'all doing a song? He argued me up and down that it's not a song because they do it on count three and this, and they do a 45-degree turn where the shot, and it was a bunch of malarkey. I, I, I'm with you. I, I feel your pain, brother. I'm with you because I'm with him. You know I'm with him, Joe. You know me. I'm wow. Like, no, no, why are y'all doing a song? No, no, so I'm with you, too. Now, now, check this out. We're on the same team. Now, check this out. And I'm coming at you real quick, fast and hurry, like in a flurry. Now, check this out. Now, you talking about they're not doing Shaw. Okay, if they're not doing Shaw, once again, why are they doing it? I have been in North Carolina for a long time. I have seen Livingstone drum majors for years. They didn't march like that, man. They didn't well, do they it. Well, at least they all the know. Listen to what I just said. One of their drum majors, who was one of the leaders of their band, was Melvin's old student. So he was bringing up in the Jackson State tradition. That's why they're doing it. It's because they right. him. Right, right. And they then, got that influence. So, I mean, at least they well, get so that, somewhere. So what that means is, yeah, they, they don't have that tradition. Hey, 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 hey. We're not even, we even going to stop right there, though. We're not going to stop right there. We're not going to stop right there, Troy and, and Joe. Check this out now. You got Wilson Salem State. They doing Jackson State too. They doing Jackson State too, baby. We know yeah, how to do the The drum majors doing Jackson State. The band doing yeah. Jackson State. They playing Jackson State music. What's wrong with these dogs? Well, well, hold up, hold it's up, called Chris HBCU. Well, HBCU means well, 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 historically well, black college. Chris Be Jones, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Magruder is at Winston Salem State, so you cannot Correct. say that he's not going to take some of his elements. It's really no different with coaching and in sports where you see, like, a coach from this particular team, okay, he's now with this different team, so you see a lot of the schemes. I mean, I think that we could decent. I mean, we could say that people are going to take some some style with them that works or a style with them that they like to each program. So I'm sure, I mean, of course, Jackson State got some good drum majors, but – the intricate part of what Troy was saying is like, okay, it ain't a shawl because it's on count three or count one or whatever. At least that's not my argument. They, that was his argument. I don't. I didn't buy it. I say it's a shawl. But, it's a shawl. But it's, at least, but it's at least an implementation. At least they trying to implement something. They took the base or something and they trying right. to, to twerk with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, right quick with Winston Salem State. I seen them against uh, UNC Pembroke. And they a good sized band, but they don't have that much power or volume. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed like they understand the complete sound of the band. Like they actually understand the team effort. Um, they're clear. They're pretty. They're they're pretty accurate. And uh, I heard them playing PYT, and the B tones jumped out. And of course, it was the the arrangement that we had at Jackson State. So I'm sure he just took that over there. And the B tones. They were coming with it a no, little Paul bit. Paul Adams arrangement, though. Oh, uh, well, right, right, Paul Adams. Well, I know, you know, it's the one where we played, and I'm, I'm sure he just took the music just over there. But you can hear all the parts of that they band. You know, they march pretty good. And you guys are right. We do see a lot of Jackson State uh, because that's just a Magruder influence. But they're not as precise on the drill. No. And... And no. that's I noticed that um, that's like a, a, a big difference. I could tell he's probably working on that. And the upper brass is they clean, but they, they don't really they they don't jump out either. You know what I mean? They play they play no, smart. Me. Right, right. They play it's just, smart. It's just vegetables on the plate. They don't have that steak. 
Right, exactly. Like it's good for you, but you still need something else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I saw them in the stands, and they had a decent sound. Uh, but uh, they played "Can't Hide Love," and you know it was just all right. I wasn't just just overly impressed. I well, think they're saying, undervalued. I, I didn't say that they were slaw. I said I wasn't impressed. I, me, us knowing Magruder, I mean, you you expect a certain level of uh. You know, showmanship at a certain level that they're gonna to perform to, and I I don't think that they met that level to what I was expecting. Especially visually, they looked bad. They didn't sound bad. They just sounded okay, but they looked bad on the field. Right, right. You know, right, they had a lot right. of holes in the drill. The lines were, I mean, jacked up, slants. People was missing assignments. It was bad. Yeah, and that's the it truth. It's uh, so Livingstone. From the tapes I've seen, they they have shown to be more precise in their drills. You know, it seems yeah. like they understand space and a whole lot better. Yep. You know, and I think Livingstone may be a shade louder than uh, Winston Salem State. What y'all think? Clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it like Austin clean. Yeah, clean. Do you That's think cooler. Winston Salem is louder than Livingstone? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't either. I think Livingstone has a much fuller. Robust sound and then Winston Salem does. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I, cleanliness is next to godliness. And yeah. God bless you tonight. And and Winston Salem, they're probably a little bit more clear. They they are clear though. I mean, they're they're pretty accurate. Like you hear what they're playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, so, they phrase good. Yeah, I, yeah. So so uh, I'm trying to think. I, Oh, okay, okay, I got it. another note here. Livingstone, something else that they were cranking was uh, work hard for the money. And yeah. um, I have nothing from Whitney Houston. It's, man, I saw a lot of things. It's a hell of Whitney I'm Houston out there. Man, Woo! I'm so sick of it. I was, man, I, I was so <laughs> pissed when I had to listen to Jack and State drill off of, uh, what did they drill off of yesterday? Whitney Houston. Um, I'm your baby tonight. Yeah, oh, my God. But you, I hey, ain't even man, that for a minute. Nah, man, they did the same thing when Michael died. Every, everybody well, you know, did the same though. thing. Let me, let me tell you something. I hate that song as a drill tune. <laughs> I, I hate love that, that song. song. I, I have it's to go against you on that because it's in a different time signature. That's why I like it. But I agree with you. We are we are really sticking on these. These you know we have people that's passing in in the, in the musical. Eras that we 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 know and are accustomed to and love, we need to let those people just go ahead and pass and let them go, man. <laughs> let them go. Let so them go. so so let, let's wrap up the end of this battle right quick. What what would you guys say? Just based on all the variables and elements involved, who do you think probably took the battle between Livingstone and uh, Winston Salem? What you think, Chris Jones? I'm going with the Honey Bears. <laughs> 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 That's their dance girl. I'm Who going with the Honey is? Bears. That's their dance. The dance girls took the whole show. Oh, the honey Bears. Uh, what, the you, honey bears. what you uh, like, what you think, Troy? I'm I'm gonna go with them too. I'm going with Livingstone, man. You going with yeah. the Honey Bears too, Troy? Yeah. That's what I'm That's my dog. That's my dog. That's yeah. my dog. I think definitely the difference with the precision. And probably a little bit more of the the power and the volume. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like Winston Salem, they're good, but uh, definitely the the lack of detail on the drill, and probably just that because uh, they're clear. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're accurate and clear, but definitely that band sound uh, is 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 something to, to to they're a force to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some other, what other uh, games out there? Uh, anybody check out anything from uh, this past week? We had uh, Central played Hampton. Oh, what about Bethune and Norfolk State? What do you guys think about that battle? Now, I'm, I'm going to have to break it down on you. I, I got to say it. Wildcats! Boom, 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 boom. Let's go! I love the Wildcats, baby. But don't come here and be bringing the A gaming, baby. They can march. They put on the show. They got some of the baddest girls. They dance girls or whatnot here. Those with neck breakers. Those girls are off the chain. They bring that mainframe. I am not tripping. I got to go with the Wildcats. I love Northern State. I love the Legion. Behold, the green and gold. But guess what? They are not Bethune coming. Bethune coming comes to show up. 
and show out. That's what they what, always uh, say. What you think, Troy? What you, what you think? Uh, I'm going to go with Chris Jones on this one again. I think Bethune. So I love you, boy. Uh, listen, I'm, look, 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 look here. This, this is my opinion because I've been pr- uh, really underwhelmed this year for marching band season. And I really think from all the footage that I've seen that Bethune Cookman is one of the best bands in this country right now. Mm. Hands down. Yeah, all I mean, really on are. the field, drilling, you get them in the stands, they sound amazing. You know what I'm saying? They drill, they play, they dance. I, they march. You know, it, I, what can you say? Yeah, no, I mean. Did, did, I, did I tell you that they march? Well, yeah, man. I definitely yeah. think, yeah you, yeah, you told me, man. They, uh, I, I told you they march, though. They march, man. I, the thing I like about them is definitely the blend of volume and power. Like, they're definitely clear, but, you know, they definitely come with some heat at the same time. I'm not going to lie, man. Uh, I was disappointed in Norfolk, and I've been looking and seeing some stuff and saying that people saying that they're rebuilding or something. I'm not they really are. sure. They, yeah, no, I know exactly what's going on. One of my One of my boys just left Norfolk this semester. Uh, he was there for the last three years, and, you know, with everything that went on with their band director getting let go, and now the assistant band director is down at Prairie View, so they were losing some students going down there. That's what my boy is doing. He just, his uh, transcripts didn't get transferred in time, so he won't be able to go to Prairie View until January. But basically, they old band director from Norfolk is telling people, come down there, whatever money you had there, you got down here, I guess. It was a lot of things going on in Norfolk. They, yeah. Yeah, because it hurt, man. Right now. Just yeah. to hear, because, you know, I don't know if Mr. Bethea is still there, but I guess Paul Adams is still there. Yeah, and, he's still uh, there. Yeah, we know Paul Adams. So, you know, I was already crunk to, to hear, because, you know, Norfolk's got some money, too. And, you know, you think that, you know, they were going to be something, but they had no dy- dynamic, dy- dominant section at all. And it was kind of surprising. We actually have someone from the 980 area code. Uh, Carla, go ahead and give us your name and tell us your Week 8 experience today. Hey, man, this is Brother Craig Howard again, calling everybody, tapping in. i just been following you guys with the, the Winston-Salem State and the Livingstone. Well, Craig, well, What's up, Craig? And what's going on, fellas? I know okay. got a little bit of time left. Sorry. Yeah. Got a little bit of time left. Um, I enjoy watching both uh, band programs grow over the year, and I didn't get a chance to see the battle, but uh, I just wanted to call in just to kind of uh, give you an update. Uh, this weekend coming is, is South Carolina State homecoming, and you know we lost uh, one of uh, South Carolina State uh, great band directors, Ronald J. Sargent, and with homecoming coming up this week, um, the alumni definitely will be in the building uh, doing a, a huge tribute to uh, Are you gonna Robert be there? I will not be there. I will be here oh. in Phoenix, <laughs> I, I, I wish I could be there, man, to to march with the alumni band, but um, we'll be playing uh, Howard University on our homecoming. So I don't know if they'll be bringing their band, but um, just – Giving you a, a, a my my opinion, I do like the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. Um, they have one of the more dynamic fight songs um, after the South Carolina State after the yeah. South Carolina State fight song. You uh, know, so right. Um, Ooh. <laughs> get up, but, uh, the Bulldogs. <laughs> everybody get up. You know, yeah, I tell you, get up. I tell you, man. Uh, I tell you that SC State. Uh, I'm sure that just with pretty brown eyes, just with that, that may be able that I don't know if Howard has anything, you know, to combat that. We've all seen them play black and blues and you know, wow. Yeah. I mean purple and purple and pink. Yeah, that's really, they don't that's play all black and blues, really they play purple and pink. <laughs> so so uh but man <laughs> we uh we <laughs> we appreciate the call, Craig, man, and uh R I P to uh Director Sergeant, I know we were talking about that last week. Um, 
and uh, you know, much love to uh, all his uh, alumni and out their family. But you know, much luck and uh, much love to y'all this week, Jackson State. We just finished our homecoming this week, man. So y'all, y'all don't party too hard now, man. There you, you go. Know do, you know how we do it down in Bulldog Country. Y'all take it easy, man. One love. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right square. Yeah, man, that was the good, the good Craig Howard throwing the Z's back in the day. Show your love, show your love. Uh, yeah, man. So it was really cool to hear from that. So, so uh, we'll, 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 we get towards the end of the show. So I guess we all agree that Bethune and Norfolk is probably gonna be Bethune, right? No, it's, Bethune. it's Bethune. It's Bethune. It's the <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Right. Quick. Uh, showing some love to the SIAC. Uh, or SIAC or whatever it is. I saw right. a um, battle that was worth mentioning for Valley State and Steelman College. Have y'all checked out either one of those bands yet? I have checked out both those bands. Well, what I you think not, about uh, in, uh, several years? I've, I've seen old footage of Fort Valley State because I know somebody that marched there, but that's about it. Yeah, man. Well, I, I have out checked Fort out Valley both State. bands. I have. I have a couple of students on both bands, actually. Former students on both bands. Now, Stillman has come up a long way because they had a numbers problem at one time. And um, I do, I, I have recognized that they have a better sound, better quality of sound. What Valley? Yeah, they are all right. They are all right, okay, man. I don't know, because y'all, Fort Valley State surprised the you know what out of me. Yeah, I, I wasn't was there, really. But, I mean, they do that to the occasion, though, Joe. They're, they're an occasion band. They're like, hey, we got such and such and such coming up. Let's go ahead and get get big for them. They're not they're not an everyday band. They're not an all the time band. They don't be they they hey they don't make, they ain't bands to make you dance. They don't do it like that. <laughs> well, I saw a video. I saw a video of them at uh at Clark, and right? uh, they they weren't really precise in the drill. And and because they were small and the numbers like they didn't do too many elaborate formations like they kept it kind of tight together they they played it safe, uh, but the tubas is cranking, and uh, they from Georgia. I mean, they, right, so they, they ain't they they can slip up on somebody. I mean, the upper brass they're adequate. You know, they fit decently with the rest of the bands, and they got a little confidence. They got good energy on the dance routine. And um, I heard them playing "Caught Up in the Rapture." What's that? Uh, Nita Baker. And mm-hmm. uh, it, it, I mean, it was decent. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, but Stillman, Stillman kind of surprised me too because they're a decent sized band, but they're pretty loud. And Correct. I saw them against Central State, and they played it safe too with the size. Like you know, they didn't do too much. But they have some good stamina. I mean, they're not scrubby. Neither one of these bands are scrubby. I guess that's what I'm saying. I heard them playing uh, Ring My Bell. You can ring my bell. You know that song? <laughs> <laughs> they, came, my bell, they came with some my power. Bell. They had with some power. And, um, I mean, they were surprising. So, between the two of them, I, I mean, I think it was the, it would be a, a worthy battle between the two. What do you think about Stillman, Chris Jones? Now, I like Stillman. I, I, like I said, I like Stillman. Stillman has their own drum major style too, once again. They do they have come up on number wise, but at the same time at the same time we have to get on something that we see a lot in the swag. And the thing that we see a lot in the swag is attacks and releases. That means a heck of a lot to a musical piece. It does. And Stillman has a problem with attacking and releasing at the same time. But I do give the percussion section props. They have a good percussion section. They have they have a good uh, mindset on trying to put a good show together, and I see that. But finishing the whole show, when you start like that, you end like that. The show does not. The show dies out towards the end. And that's just First me. First note, last note. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. So you said it, baby. Yeah, the first note, last note. That's really important, and it's, unfortunately, we ran up to time. I didn't want you looking at the clock, man. So we got to wrap up the show. Uh, no. We want everybody to check out uh, the show and the future. You guys, we got three shows coming up this week uh, on the Marching Podcast. But you guys, take care. Uh, much love. Uh, one love to everybody out there. Um, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. 
Happy birthday, Daddy. It's my dad's birthday today. He turned 69. I love you, Dad. Appreciate that, Chris Jones. You got anybody a short shout out right quick with 30 seconds, Troy? I want to shout out Detroit Tigers. We're waiting on them Cardinals, man. Come on, bring them. World Series. I got another shot. I got another shot. I love my wife, Yolanda Jones. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you. God bless you. Right, thanks to God. Thanks to God. Uh, thanks much. Uh, to you, thanks to Chris and thanks to Troy. Check out the website at com. Thanks to you for listening. And remember, the eye is more better, a better pupil and more willing than the ear. Advice may be misleading, but examples are always clear. See you next time. Peace. One.